Hello and welcome back to 5 Minute Materials, the show where we demystify every node in the Unreal Engine Material Graph. Today, we are looking at the Height Lerp node. So, let's jump straight in. So you can see I've got the material from the previous video about bump offset. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this height lerp function and we're going to use it to be able to paint grass or moss on our rocks uh, using mesh painting. So there are multiple ways that this height lerp function can be used, um, but I think the best way to do it is to only use the alpha output rather than put in the A and the B and get the results. First thing we're going to do, we're going to get our height texture, which is this brick pattern, uh, the alpha of the brick pattern. Put that into the height texture. This can be anything. This could just be a random cloud noise texture or something. Then into the transition phase, we are going to put vertex color. For the sake of testing this really quickly, we're going to put in a parameter. And then the contrast, we will also have a... We'll just put in two for now. Now the real fun starts to happen when we get the output of the alpha and we use linear interpolate which if you're not sure what it does i've got a video right here that you can check out and what we're going to do is we're going to lerp between this brick texture so that's going to be our zero and one is going to be a grassy kind of color and then we're also going to do the same for the normal map so the brick normal map goes into A, uh, then we're just going to grab another one with similar coordinates, and we are going to get a grassy ground normal map. I'm going to put that into B. We're going to use the same alpha into the alpha of this normal map. So that means that these two things, the A and the B and the A and the B here, are both synced up together. So we're going to hit save. Now we're just going to play with this parameter real quick. And you can see straight away that I've royally dicked this up because I believe this needs to be one minus, one minus did. Uh, if you don't know what one minus does, I have a video here, check it out. <laughs> okay, so now as we start to move this parameter up, you can see that we're lerping between these two sets of textures based on the height map. So at zero, it's fully just the bricks. As I move up a bit, it starts to fill the cracks in between the bricks first. And then as I move to one, you can see it's fully the, the new texture. So now we've proven that it can work. Now we're going to put the vertex color into the transition phase. So if we were using the vertex color, because vertex color is one by default, we can just rearrange all these so that these are all around the other way. Because we want to be starting with the brick. Uh, you can experiment with this yourself, <laughs> but if we now go into modes, mesh paint mode, paint, and I'll just expand this a little bit. And now if I was to start painting this with my, my mesh paint, you can see that it's changing between them and you can see it's still adhering to the height blend. So what we are doing by doing this is we're using the vertex color, which if we go like this, you can see we're taking away the red channel. We are using this as the transition phase of the height lerp. Now you can also set a paint color. Uh, we could set this to 0.5 and you know it won't go past that. So you can use that to be like exactly at the, the halfway point or whatever specified point you want so that it isn't completely you know covered. And this can be used in a bunch of different ways. Uh, this is probably just the most applicable way to use it. Now, as another example, I use this in a few of my shaders. If you remember this one from, from long ago. Uh, you can see in this shader, I have it doing the same thing. I've got snow texture and it fills up the cracks of the ice first. And I also do it in this lava shader. It reveals the tips of the rocks first until eventually they become completely solid. And I also use that same vertex color channel to stop it from being, you know, all wobbly dobbly. So you could use this to blend with your landscape seamlessly. If you use the same UV coordinates and same texture values for this texture here that's in the material and a texture that is on your landscape. So that's going to wrap it up for today. This was the height lerp node. To sum it up, it creates an alpha for a lerp 
and it factors in a height map that you specify. And it will lerp the lowest points of the height map first, eventually getting to the upper parts of the height map. And it can really help to blend textures together really nicely. So if you learn something today and you reckon that you'll use this node, because I use it absolutely everywhere, uh, make sure that you hit subscribe, hit like on the video so that more people see it. If you do want to stay up to date with all these tips and tricks and stuff, make sure that you ring that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload a video. And if you really, really enjoy what we do here on the channel, then make sure you check out our Patreon below. So with that, I say goodbye. Goodbye.